الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولا علی وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احبت في الله having concern and assisting your brothers and sisters in Islam is one of the very important rights that we have over one another and the reward is immense and what affirms that for us is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam where he said the hadith uh, عن عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله تعالى عنهما أن رجل جاء إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا رسول الله أي الناس أحب إلى الله فقال أحب الناس إلى الله أنفعهم للناس وأحب أعمال إلى الله عز وجل سرور تدخله على المسلم تكشف عنه قربة أو تقضي عنه دينا أو تترن عنه جوعا عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله تعالى عنهما he said that a man came to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and he said O oh messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم which from the people who are those who are most beloved to Allah and he said the most beloved to Allah is those who are the most beneficial to the people and the most beloved deeds to Allah is happiness that a person brings to a Muslim by removing a difficulty for, from him or helping him to repay his debt or removing hunger from him it shows us that when we assist one another that this is something beloved to Allah and anytime something is beloved to Allah of course it's what? it's ibadah as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said about uh, in defining ibadah he said kullu ma yuhibbuhu allah wa yardahu min a'mal al-zahir wa batin he said ibadah or ibadah ism jami' la kullu ma yuhibbuhu allah wa yardahu that ibadah is a term a general term or an all encompassing term for everything that allah loves and is pleased with from deeds that are open and deeds that are hidden meaning that ibadah comprises worship comprises of things that we do openly like the salat like paying maybe giving charity in front of people uh, the hajj all the various types of open ibadah that we can see and then there is the ibadah, qalbiyah, those things which are types of worship which are contained within the heart. Things that have to do with your iman, the inner aspect of the iman in the heart. Or tawakkal. We can't measure tawakkal ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala openly. But that's something contained in the heart. That how much trust you put in Allah. Or how much hope and fear and love that you have within your heart for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or in your heart for the believers or in your heart for someone strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those things are not easily measurable outwardly but rather those are matters of the heart so all of those things are things we should focus on and they are part of our ibadah and do your best to strive to come to the 
assistant of your brothers and sisters in Islam and may Allah help us and bless us in all of our affairs wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam